taking a basin-based approach to manage waters of transboundary rivers alongside a better water management system to build big matter from the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. He also attached importance to regional or sub-regional cooperation, including hydropower generation and transmission. The Prime Minister put the importance in a video message broadcast in the two-day Fourth Asia-Pacific Water Summit being held in the Japanese city of Kamatoto with the theme Water of Sustainable Development, Best Practices and the Next Generation. Describing water as vital for life, she said, it is fundamental for sustainable development and for promoting a culture of peace. Water is vital for life. It is fundamental for sustainable development and for promoting a culture of peace. We need to ensure sound water management to build back better from the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. The sale of advance train tickets for Eid al Fitr holidaymakers from Dhaka to other districts started at 8 a.m. today. The train tickets are being sold considering May 3rd as the possible aid day. As part of the possible aid day, the ticket for April 27 are being sold on April 23rd, while for April 28, the ticket will be sold on April 24. April 29, the ticket on April 25. April 30, the ticket on April 26, and May 1st, the ticket on April 27. However, the the Ministry of Railways has decided to run six pairs of special trains alongside the normal trains. A court has placed a former new market Thana BNP president Mokbul Hussain on a three-day remand in connection with a case filed for disrupting police and discharging duties during the clash between Dhaka College students and the traders. Dhaka Metropolitan Magistrate Mamun Rashid passed the order on Saturday after new market police station inspector Haldar Orpita Thakur produced him before the court with a seven-day remand prayer. Earlier on Friday afternoon, Mokbul was arrested from the residence in the capital of Thanmundi. He was taken to DB office on Main Road for interrogation. Later, he was handed over to Newmarket Police Station. Clashes between businessmen and the students in the new market area prove the law and order situation of the country commanded BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakhrulis Alamgir. He also alleged that BNP leaders were arrested and accused in the incident for political motives. Fakhrul also claimed that it was proved that the BNP leaders were involved in the incident. He said this at a press conference at the BNP Chairperson's political office in Gulshan today. In protest of this incident, a program was announced on 26 April in all the metropolitan cities of the country, including Dhaka. He also said that the BNP has formed a three-member investigation committee into the incident. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres is scheduled to meet with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky. He will have a meeting with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov during his visit to Moscow. The matter was disclosed at regular UN briefings. Zubay Raman with the more details. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres will meet the President Vladimir Zelensky in Ukraine next week after a stop in Moscow to confer with President Vladimir Putin about the war. According to a UN statement, Guterres will see Zelensky and Ukraine's foreign minister on Thursday, two days after visiting Moscow. Threatening the well-being and survival of Guterres sent letters this week requesting these in-person meetings to try to regain the initiative for the UN, which has been largely marginalized from the crisis since Russia invaded Ukraine on February 24th. In, on, uh, preparations for a potential In part, this is because the war has divided the UN Security Council permanent members, the United States, France, Britain, China and Russia. Meanwhile, China has refused to condemn the invasion, depicting Russia as a victim of Western efforts to weaken it. Besides, the UN chief will visit Moscow to meet with Putin on Tuesday and he hopes to talk about what can be done to bring peace to Ukraine urgently, said UN Associate Spokesperson Erika Niko.
Gutierrez has had little contact with Zelensky since the war began, speaking with him just once by telephone on March 26. Consistent and clear this entire time, and I don't. On the other hand, Putin has not taken Gutierrez's phone calls or had any contact with him since the UN chief stated that the invasion violated the UN Charter. These conversations, that's what matters. Zubair Rahman, My TV News Desk. A powerful blast at a mosque near the Afghan city of Kunduz has killed at least 33 people and injured 43 others. According to a report on Al Jazeera, the bomb struck shortly after noon in front of a mosque in Kunduz's Imam Shahib district on Friday. Police say scores were injured when a bomb ripped through a mosque in Kunduz during Friday prayers. The attack came as an Islamic State affiliate claimed responsibility for several earlier bomb attacks. Viewers now news on sports. Now time for details about football. Zion PSG will take the field tonight in the French Football League. Messi Neymar can win the title league with a title with four matches in hand if they win or secure a draw this match against less. After leaving the Champions League, PSG has no choice but to win the league title. PSG, which has won the last four matches, has retained that rhythm a lot. Meanwhile, in the English Premier League football, the league leader Manchester City will play against Watford. We are about to the end of the headlines once again. Prime Minister emphasized regional cooperation, including hydropower generation and a transmission for sustainable development. The sale of advanced train tickets for Ethiopia the holidaymakers from Taka has started today. And the court has placed BNP leader Mokbul Hussain on a three-day remand in connection with the Dhaka College clash. That's all from our newsroom for now. Thanks for being with us. To join with my TV news online, visit YouTube slash my TV BT News. And to watch all our programs, visit YouTube slash my TV Bangla, Facebook slash my TV Bangla. Our next bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7 30 pm. Don't forget to join with us. Till then, stay connected. We also be careful to prevent coronavirus and follow the high symbols. Allah Hafiz.